Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to create this color change effect inside of After Effects. The first thing I want to do is just go ahead and duplicate this clip here. So I'm just going to hit Control D. And now you can see that you have one more layer on top of this one. And on the top layer, you want to go ahead and add this effect called Hue and Saturation. Drag that on there. And then now, uh, depending on the color of your subject or like in this case, car, uh, this is like a cyan kind of blue. So Let's just do cyan, see if that changes anything. So yeah, cyan seems to be the one that, yeah. All right, blues does nothing. So yeah, cyan. And then when we mess with the cyan here, right here, you can see that you get all sorts of different colors. So we just want to mess with this and get like a color that we want to have our starting color be. So, I mean, we could do like, maybe like a, purple and when we play this back you can see that the whole car is now purple if i just toggle that off really quick you can kind of see the before and after and what we want to do is create a mask that slowly just reveals the uh the actual like cyan underneath it so to do this we just want to go up to our uh masking up here this little pen tool and just create like a I don't know, kind of rough mask around the car here. Just something like this, like really rough, like, but make sure you have a decent amount of points because you will be moving these around just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to have a few points to work with while you're doing this. And also make sure you hit the start of your uh, clip here or the start of your timeline in my case. And you just want to hit M on your keyboard that's gonna go ahead and bring up your mask path and you just wanna keyframe this. So hit the stopwatch at the start and now just go to the very end of your clip or timeline and drag this over here. And the reason why I left a few like points is if you want, you can like mess with this at the end. So it will like kind of change while it's uh, moving. So just like by dragging these points around here and just kind of kind of mess with it. So when we play it back, I don't know, it's not like totally just a straight line. Kind of like curves around with the car. And already, that's already looking pretty good. I kind of like how that looks, but if you're not a fan of just like this harsh, like sharp line right here, we can uh, go ahead and in this mask right here, just hit F on your keyboard and now I'll have the mask feather. So bring this uh, value up here and now you can see it kind of like fade out and the two colors actually they kind of mix together creates like a dark blue. So when we play this back now, you can see that's a lot softer fade uh, with the mask there. So this looks super clean and I really like how that looks. So if you're a fan of the mask or the feather, then just leave that at like a hundred or something. But once again, if you like the harsh kind of look here, then just go ahead and have that value at zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys another kind of color change effect. So I'll just play this really quick so you guys can see what this looks like. And for this effect, you are going to need a plugin called Sapphire. And the effect from that pack is actually S underscore edge colorized. So make sure you have this installed. And yeah. If you have the uh, sapphire installed, then you're pretty much just ready to go. What you want to do is just basically duplicate this bottom layer. And in between this mask and then this layer, so just the middle one, uh, you just want to bring in colorize. And then obviously the edge colorize, as I just said. Now when I play it back, you can see that edge colorize is now working. But I mean, who is going to use this in their video? Like this just looks terrible. So we want to do some tweaking here. Um, we can make the edge smoothness to like one, make the uh, left color here white, and then the middle ones right here are the ones that you want to change. So I'm just going to kind of make these around the color of the car here. So like purple, pink, and then maybe like blue or cyan like that. That's looking pretty sweet, but once again, we still have this really terrible mask around the edge of the car here. So to fix this, just duplicate this bottom layer again where there's no effects and then bring it 
above. So now you have your clean plate, you have the layer with the edge colorize, and this uh, another clean plate, I guess, and the mask. So now with the mask layer, you want to go ahead and add key light. Bring this onto that new layer we just duplicated. And now you want to go ahead and select this like cyan or whatever color that you have in your video. And this looks honestly even worse now. Like, what is this? I don't even know what's happening, but what we're going to do to fix that is just bring this screen uh, gain down to zero. And now that stuff is all gone in the background and you can kind of mess with the screen gain here, but I'm just going to leave it at a hundred. So now when I turn that on and off, you can kind of see what's going on there. And also we still have this hue saturation turned on on our top layer from the thing I just told you guys about before. So with it off, uh, you can see the actual color of the car, but if it's on, then you have the purple there. So I guess I'll just leave it off for the case of this. But yeah, we still have the uh, mask on this top layer. And we just want to go back into this mask and put the feathering back up. You guys may already have the feathering to 100, but just having that feathering makes it look a lot better. Not having those sharp edges there, we could do like 100 and 50 looks pretty clean now when we play that back you can see you get that super sweet fade with the edge colorize on there honestly pretty easy once you kind of get the hang of it you can always just do it on different footage and whatever you want to do so yeah have fun experimenting with this effect and if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out